Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today we've got some awesome news to share that came out of today's Xbox and Starfield Direct Showcase. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. So, if you might have missed the Xbox and Starfield Direct Showcase earlier today, June 11th, Fallout 76 managed to get, and what most of us expected, a very small window of time during the showcase, to give us a glimpse on what's on the horizon. And well, a lot of fans were left with a lot of questions. To cut right to the chase, we received quite a well put together montage and somewhat a thank you to the players who've played Fallout 76, in a trailer that eventually revealed that the next location we're expected to adventure to, which is going to be Atlantic City. Now, in my own opinion regardless of the lack of information that we received in regards to season 13 and the once in a blue moon update or what a lot of fans speculated the release of a 2023 roadmap it was still a relief to finally get some news some actual news from the trailer all we basically got was that atlantic city would be the next location for something that bethesda have planned it wasn't confirmed in the trailer if this would be the next iteration of expeditions or if this would be the next big story dlc to release however straight after the reveal and over on the bethesda website we received this article which states, Since its debut in 2017, the post-nuclear waste of Appalachia and Fallout 76 have become home for over 50 million players. But wait, there's still more on the horizon. Prepare for high rollers and higher stakes when Fallout 76 embarks players on an all-new expedition to Atlantic City, coming soon for all players. With so many ways to play, you too can answer the call of 76. Now, don't worry, I'll leave a link to that article below, but it looks like Atlantic City, even though there hasn't been a confirmed release date, will be the next location we'll travel to with the Expeditions game mode. Now, to a lot of people, this will definitely come as both a relief and a bit of a disappointment, because on one hand, we now finally have confirmation that the Expeditions game mode will be expanded upon, and it's also hope that Bethesda will continue to support this mode. But on the other hand, the fact that we'll only be able to visit Atlantic City in the form of Expeditions, and not an extension of the world map itself as a location we can visit and explore at our ease, is probably a bit of a letdown. But at the same time too, it's good to see that we're actually getting something new, and also as a location we've never explored in the Fallout universe. Looking a little bit further into the trailer, we only got a tiny snippet of what Atlantic City will actually look like, and as you can see from these screenshots, we can get a tiny glimpse into what the environment will look like. Now, it's understandable regardless of where we go, it will be a wasteland, but we can immediately tell that the location itself, and given that it's Atlantic City, will feature a similar gambling theme that we see in the likes of Fallout New Vegas when you actually visit the New Vegas Strip. So, maybe from some of these screenshots, we might be able to get the opportunity to interact with some of the gambling options that Atlantic City has to offer, like slot machines, roulette and poker tables, but hopefully if we get a little bit of a deep dive at a later stage down the road, which I assume we probably will guess, hopefully we'll be able to see some of these features actually become a reality. At the same time too, given that we've already seen the announcement of two new cryptids that are on the way with the Once in a Blue Moon update, this Atlantic City expansion will hopefully introduce one more cryptid that we've yet to actually see in the Fallout world, which is the Jersey Devil. And as you can see from recent data mine images for Season 13, the Jersey Devil is featured as a poster reward, and currently on the Season 12 scoreboard we can see a tiny glimpse of the Jersey Devil. And as we know, Bethesda love to tease future content for Fallout 76 with the scoreboards that they actually release, and from this screenshot, it's not entirely certain if this is actually supposed to be that particular entity, which in my own opinion, I don't really think so, but I'm sure time will tell. And with that, that's everything from the Xbox and Starfield Direct Showcase regarding Fallout 76 and its Atlantic City announcement. Let me know below in the comments as I would love to know what you thought about today's announcement and what you're looking forward to most regarding Fallout 76, or anything you might have actually seen today at the showcase. We'll have more videos on the way covering the new season in Fallout 76 and the Starfield Direct Showcase itself, so if you don't want to miss out and want to be kept up to date with everything Fallout and Starfield related, consider clicking that subscribe button and turning on that bell notification button. And if you enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like. And before we head on out, I want to say a big thank you to our channel members for your continued support and dedication to the channel, and of course to all of our subscribers who've helped the channel to grow. If you're also looking at picking up some Bethesda theme items over on the Bethesda store, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE062 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more personally, consider checking checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, prints, and other pineapple themed merch, which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I 
hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.